In this short Excel tutorial, I want to show you a faster, easier way to move columns in Excel. Many people follow these steps to move a column in Excel. They would right click on the column letter and choose Cut. Then they would go to where they want to paste that column, right click on the column letter and choose Paste. And that does work and it's fine, but watch a much faster method. All I have to do is select column A with a left mouse click and then put my mouse pointer on the right edge of that column. So I'm just gonna go down the column a little ways and you can see my mouse pointer turns into a symbol with four arrows. Instead of the plus sign, it becomes four arrows. At that point, I can just left click and hold the left click and drag that entire column wherever I want it to go. If I drag it onto a blank column, it's easy. It just puts it right there. If I drag it onto a column that already has data, look what it says. There's already data here. Do you want to replace it? No, I don't, so I'll cancel that. So if I did want to put this column right there in column D, I would have to go here on column D, right click, insert a blank column, and now I can left click on column H, go to the edge. I went to the right edge before, but the left edge works just as well, and I'm gonna drop it right where I want it to be. I'm going to use Control Z to undo all of that because I want to show you one more trick that you can use by selecting an entire column. In addition to just going to the edge, clicking and dragging, you can also hold Control and then click and drag the edge. Now what does that do? That actually copies the column. So the column stays where it was and it's duplicated and added wherever I dragged it to. So whenever you need to move a column, think about this video and the tip of selecting the entire column and using the edge of that column to drag it where you want it to be. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribed button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account. And you'll see a link to that in the description below.